um, we're in the gym all by ourselves because the gym's closed, but we're going to do a brief on uh, today's workout. And what it's going to be is some interval work. So what we've got is three intervals here in the red. Um, there's 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. There's 40 seconds of work, 20 of rest. 20 seconds of work, so a nice short one. And then 40 second rest there as well. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to complete all three intervals on one movement at a time. So you're going to get them all done on the one, and then you'll move to the next exercise, working your way through until you've done the five. Uh, so what we've got in terms of movements is, first one is a push-up with rotation, uh, a single arm squat, a jump or a step up, some supine rowing, and then a leg raise, so some midline stuff to finish uh, the interval work off. We'll go through all these movements with a bit of detail uh, in a few minutes with going. Um, but yeah, as I said, you're going to complete all intervals on the one exercise first, and then work your way through as we go on. So let's have a look at these, uh, these movements in just a second. Alrighty, so let's have a look at these movements. I've got Gailene here, who's pretty excited. Um, we're just going to go over these movements. So we've got our push up with the rotation first up. So let's just have a look at that. So it can be done from your toes or your, or your knees. We're just going to come down into the bottom of the push up, to the chest to floor. As she's coming up, she's rotating up, lifting that arm up. Excellent. And just swapping sides each time. Good. So you can do this from the knees if needed. And you can also do this just as a regular push-up if you find that rotation is a bit too much. You can also elevate yourself up onto a box if needed, just so you're not on the floor as much. Uh, the next one is a single arm squat. So uh, hopefully you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Um, we'll have a look at an option if you don't. And we're just going to perform a squat. So just in that front rack, and just squatting down, whatever depth is comfortable. Good, getting that elbow up nice, excellent. Good. For these intervals as well, as you're doing it, every five reps I want you to swap arms. Now it doesn't matter if you don't get it perfectly even, it's not going to be the end of the world, uh, but just try and do that every five reps. Perfect. Okay, next one we've got is your jump or your step up. Uh, so whatever you've got to jump on. Obviously only some of you will have a box at home, a step, anything you've got that's going to be off the ground. Good. Just getting to full extension at the top. Good. You can also step this as well. If you're doing a step up, you'll just swap legs every rep. Excellent. Cool. Okay, next one is our supine row. So we can do this a couple of ways. Uh, we're going to do this either on the floor, where we're just going to raise the arms up, and we're just going to pull back, just engaging through that upper back. Good. Nice retraction of your shoulders. Excellent. And you're just going to be continuing that for the... Uh, the amount of time of those intervals. Good. Another option too, if you prefer to go with that, is maybe going with a weight and doing like a bent over row. So you can do this from a standing position, just hinging over and rowing. Again, doing five reps each arm, just swapping over each five. Excellent, cool. And our last one is our leg raise. So for our leg raise, you're just gonna lay on your back And we're just going to tighten up her midline, so you're almost going to that sort of hollow position. And then we're just going to raise both legs up. Good. And back down to the floor. Depending on your efficiency with this as well, you can take your legs not quite as low to the floor. Good. Or you can go with a bit more of a bent knee if needed. Good. That's it. Just to make sure we're just trying to keep that lower back nice and flat on the floor. Excellent. Alrighty. That's all the movements there. Um, obviously hit us up if you've got any questions about uh, any of those movements, but it's all on SugarWad for you, so just refer to that if needed. All right, thank you.